hello everyone welcome to code with maktum in this video i am going to show you how to make a youtube thumbnail so are you ready to learn how to make a youtube thumbnail so let's right jump into it so to make a youtube thumbnail there is an app called as pixel lab so it is available in play store so go to play store and search it pixel lab so i have already downloaded it so click on open so when you open the app you can see a screen like this so to make a youtube thumbnail so you have to click on this vertical triple dotted icon here you can see an option called as image size click on it by default the image size is set to custom so you can click on that custom and you can see number of options in that click on youtube thumbnail and say okay so you can see now the screen size sorry the image size is set to the thumbnail size okay and you can change this image background you can add anything like this now the size is lost but again you can set it back to youtube thumbnail by doing the same thing okay now if you want to add a text click on this plus icon you can see you can add text you can add the current date you can add the stickers you can add shapes you can also choose any image from the gallery and you can also draw the things okay so now i will be taking text okay so give any text here i will say intro to html and okay now if you want to edit the text so you can see in the bottom there's a a click on it this will allow you to do the editing in the text clear with that so here you can increase the text size yes then uh, you can add the padding you can add the color then you can um, choose the font there are different fonts available okay you can choose any of them and all are free there is no need of buying the font you can change the style of the text you can make it bold italic underlined yes then curving option is there so like this you can do yes intro to html then you can also alignment is there spacing is there stroke stroke is a very nice feature here make it enable and you can have some changes like this you can choose any color and you can increase or decrease the stroke width so you can see the changes when i increase the stroke width it is looking nice okay and there is a shadow option you can add the shadow to the text okay then uh, there is inner shadow option is also available you can add a inner shadow then emboss option then 3d text you can make it as 3d so these are all of the options available for the text now you can also add the image by clicking on the plus icon and you can choose from gallery then you can choose the image to add and here you can crop it yes and uh, here you can make it big or small yes now if you want to make some editing in the image you, you are going you can uh, click on this hexagon symbol so you can see variety of options so here you can uh, again you can crop the image or else you can make a copy of it you can uh, you can send it to front you can send it back then 
there are different options like here also stroke is available to see the changes of the stroke you have to first erase the image so when i click on erase so you can see whatever the white color was there it went off now so now you, if you use stroke you can see the changes when i click on white blue yellow you can see the changes now okay yes then uh, like in the text here also we have a shadow option emboss option i hope i'm clear with this yes so and you can also draw the shapes here to draw you can draw a variety of shapes here okay by default they will be giving you the square okay now what i'm going to do is okay now i have drawn a rectangle click on okay if you want to do some alteration on the shapes again you have to click on the hexagon symbol now you want it to send back click on to back you can see now okay and you can give the color to it this is the color option yes you can see it's a bit nice now yeah you can see how nice it is looking okay then again here also stroke options are there you can increase the stroke width to see the changes then you can also add the shadow then like this like this you're going to make a youtube thumbnail i hope i'm clear with this it is very much easier and it is very much simple using pixel lab so i hope this video is useful so please connect to my youtube channel to get the knowledge about the tech things as well as programming things and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching